Will this device stop you from sleeping? We're looking at some of the most useless tech on the internet, like this water bottle that's Wi-Fi enabled. And this umbrella that you have to charge. This is Bat 19 Rejects. I can't wait to get started. Going to sleep either saves your life or could kill you. Okay. I guess there's other things like that, right? Like you could die from water, but it also keeps you alive. Let's stay on sleep. <laughs> this is a brand new product in my store. It's called an Alert Me, and it's made by the Rescue Me company based in Looks like a USA. fishing lure. So I wore this one recently Ooh. when I Ooh. was road tripping through Utah. Oh, I see it. And if I happened to fall asleep at the wheel, it Why would set it off an alarm in my ear and wake me up. How does it know yeah, that you're asleep? These are great questions. This is the Rescue Me anti-drowsy device. Not our way that works. <laughs> Hook it over your ear, and then, then press the button to turn it on. Okay, now fall asleep. We would have crashed by no, now. No, no, like really fall asleep. Now, like, <laughs> hardcore, you're out. <laughs> Stop me! You're killing us, Eric! Oh my god! <laughs> Is it just, it's gonna stay upright? Yeah. Is that the only ah. It works if you fall asleep like this. God, I hate that sound. It's sort of like a punishment if you're a distracted Ooh. driver too. Yeah. About a new Van 19 video, that's a t grabbing my attention. Okay. Nope, okay. I'm crashed. <laughs> no, really no. settle into a deep yeah, slumber. No, no. Really fall asleep here. Got a, a cot. Yeah, I think you gotta really lay down. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, there you go, there you go. Oh! Imagine you do that in your car and you can't find it. I think though that it's so jarring when it gets you that I would jerk yeah. the wheel. I went off a ravine you were early. On a, and it was a two lane highway. Yeah. So I'm glad you did the ravine and not the other lane. Yeah, I saved there was some a lives. School bus. I saved some lives. A hero, really. It does still seem like if you start to nod off, it, you're, it's too far gone. Only one way to find out, guys. <laughs> Death road trip, let's do it. Let's get this out of here. Forget that stupid anti-drowsing device. I've got right here behind me, the pocket latte. This is a, a cup of coffee in a chocolate bar. This has got the caffeine equivalent of a cup of coffee and it's a delicious piece of chocolate. We got you covered. Yeah. We got you covered. Get Eat this. Chocolate instead. Throw that stupid rescue me thing away. Pocket Latte, available now, vet19.com. Is it selfish of me to not care if I snore? A it little bit, It doesn't yeah. bother me. As long as you're sleeping, that's all that matters. Oh, that oh. looks uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Wait, what is, we're just showing the air going in and out? Yeah, Micro well, hair. Right, yeah, you dryer? You jam this thing in your nose and it's- Oh my oh, God! She just hit it with a lamp? Oh! Generic brand anti-snoring device, electronic. Oh, it comes with a strap. You don't think this is how it works? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. How much air is this outputting? Yeah, there's two fan blades in there. Like little micro fans. I feel like you're not gonna want to use this after I use it. Absolutely right. correct. <laughs> oh, oh, watch it. Oh yeah, it. that doesn't go in at all. Well, jam it in there. Okay, I'm locked and loaded, gang. There we go. Oh, I can hear it. You guys trim your nose hairs? It kind of seems oh, like that's yeah. what's happening, but like you don't get the tickle. Well, here's what I'm wondering. It's forcing air into your nose. So, could you sing a note forever? One last thing before I quit, I never wanted any more than I could fit into my head. I just went back. Um, nope, <laughs> couldn't do it. I don't know if this helps. If snoring, isn't gonna kill me, I'm not wearing this thing. And if snoring's that dangerous, I'm going to a doctor and getting like a proper thing. But what if it's just that it, it's annoying Allison? Oh uh, yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. You can get earplugs for cheaper. Ugh, ugh. <laughs> All right, guys, I've done a total 180 on this product. At first I hate it, now I love it. Whoa. I have what? no idea what's happening. So it taps the screen for you. No. It taps it. It taps the screen for you. You don't have to tap the screen. This is where I was a couple days ago. Okay. Then I used it. I think you'll change your mind. This is the BO1. Man, I can't wait for the BO2 to come out. Okay. <laughs>
You plug this in. It's that easy, it's activated. It's tapping away. So if you put this on my phone, the amount of hearts oh, I'm this giving this guy. person just thinks they're like crushing it. You just like gave him money. Oh, you're oh, doing oh no, it's saying all this stuff. <laughs> Who is buying this? If you got one of those mobile games that requires like a ton of tapping. That's all you're doing? This is it. Well, with this thing, you can dominate that game. But why is that fun? Is it the point of playing a game to play it? No, right. it's to win it. <laughs> Everything in life is about winning, Ben. Look how many cookies I've gotten. I haven't lifted a finger, Eric. Come on, Ben. Yeah. Our human fingers. <laughs> We're doing worse. <laughs> Guess what you can't do while you're doing that? Yep. Anything else. I can do this and do all sorts of other things. I hate this thing, unless you're using it to like Bad 19 videos, then I like it. These guys don't get it. I'm all in on the phone auto clicker. Holler, this is cool. This next product proves we've just gotten too rich as a society. <laughs> this smart flash can opens when it senses motion. It's rechargeable, so it doesn't have to be plugged in. And then okay. will automatically self-seal the trash bag when it senses Okay, hold on. Oh, it's so small though. I don't even know how you pronounce this brand. Tonu or Tonu? It's all lips. Tonu. This is an overpriced trash can. Woo! It is small, I will say. This is like a bathroom. Yeah. Oh! oh! <laughs> the light! Didn't have to touch it. Not getting it dirty. Ow! The other thing that it does is that it self seals yeah, the trash bag. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Press and hold that. Now let it work. Oh my god! That so, is so cool. And it's gonna load up a new one? Oh, oh my god! This thing's amazing! You did it! You brought us a perfect product, Jamie. This isn't perfect. It's $120. Well, ooh. you do use trash every day. It's not that hard to just cinch it up. Don't be so lazy. Just tie your own trash bags. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah, it does do it for me. The other issue is that the bags are a bit more expensive than mm, normal yeah, bags. Yeah. They also seem that pretty thin for a trash bag. I'm one of those guys, I mean, I fill it up. Okay, I fill my trash cans up. You know, you gotta put a foot in there no, sometimes. You're doing, you're and then you're, guy? I'm out for the price. I'm in. I'm in because every time it works, I clap my hands a little mm -hmm. bit. You guys are idiots. Idiots. This next product purports to do your job for you if that job is not doing your job. Got it? No. This is the mouse jiggler. <laughs> it, it moves your mouse for you. What? And there's some employers out there that track whether or not you're using your computer. A lot of work yeah. isn't just moving your mouse. Like you also like need to like think about things. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not paying you to think, Ben. <laughs> yeah, Ben, jiggle that mouse. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Whoa. Whoa. I mean, it works. Yeah. So it does. right now, you are just in the other room watching a Cardinals game. But I'm working. As a boss, what are you doing monitoring your employees' mouse movement? It does not say great things about our society that no. this exists. Yeah. It's a, a failure on a lot of levels. <laughs> Every product should have an app, right? Yeah. Apple just started selling this $70 water bottle. What's different about it is- Is it at $70? That can automatically track how much water you drink. What? I hate this product. It lights up to tell you when you should drink some water. Yeah, how else are you gonna know? <laughs> <laughs> this is the Hydrate Spark, the $70 water bottle that tells you when you're thirsty. I installed the app. This app is- Needy. It was constantly hitting me up with notifications. Janie, it's time to take a sip. And you have to calibrate it. After drinking, you're supposed to set the bottle on a flat surface for a few seconds so the sensor can measure the water level. Can I drink it yet? I'm so thirsty. Hold on. No, it hasn't told you you're thirsty. Uh, <laughs> do you have to do this every time? Once every day or so, bring it close to the app so it can record your water intake. If you drink not out of this, you're supposed to tell the app. <laughs> but you drank. Counting calories is hard as it is, and it's like trying to count ounces of water throughout the day. Did I mention earlier it's $70 for this water bottle? Man. To make drinking water hard. It's a no-go for me. I'm out too, although I do think most people are underhydrated. You don't know me? that? You can't say blanket statements yeah. like that. I just learned about water. <laughs> Look, if the folks at home want a water bottle that can tell you how much you've had and do a lot of other cool things, look no further than Vat19's Aquabot. Oh, nice. Right? And it's got the measurements on the side and you can just see how much you had to drink. Wow. And this water bottle can also spray stuff. You can miss some friends right? or missed your mouth. 
Ah, oh, extreme! I just got botted. Uh, this thing's too good. We gotta go look at more stupid stuff. Honestly, I'm still on the fence about this product. Oh, really? Okay. It'll change your mind. Yeah, you guys might help me decide. Let's just go to the video. I like the shoes. This jump rope counts how many oh. you've done. Like oh, a okay. skip it. At first I thought, come on. Mm -hmm. But I could see it being handy. This is the um, smart jump rope from Rookie. It looks high quality. And we're in a really tight window, so if it's not cool, that's why. We're testing to see if this thing is is, is accurate. One, two, three, four. Thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. How many did you do? Thirty-eight. That's what the app says. Oh! I'm out of breath. It is a little unnecessary, but I still like it. It's convenient. I was impressed that it counted right. I like that it counts, but uh, sorry, folks, I'm not spending forty dollars on a jump rope. No, you're never gonna be in shape. You don't think I'm already in shape, Eric? Now you, you probably want to buy it. Last time it was thin lips. Oh. This, time, <laughs> this time it's you're not in shape. I'm just trying to sell you on this jump rope, Jamie, because I'm in. What do we got to do to get you into a jump rope today? Make that $12.99. Ooh, Ooh that's <laughs> not going to be a smart one. <laughs> well, then I'll just count on my own. How often do you guys cut your fingers when clipping your fingernails? I'm always worried about it, but I rarely do. It. Never happened to me once and never even occurred to me that that could happen. Well, with this next product, you'll never have that happen again. Oh, thank God. Oh. It looks terrifying. Ah! <laughs> oh God, that scares me. It looks me. scary. Is it like a bandsaw? None of those oh, oh I like that. This is the electric nail clipper. Who wants to try it? I'll do it. Why don't you maybe do those toes, Eric? Oh, you don't want that. The show always makes me get my toes out. <laughs> that makes me nervous. Jam a finger in there and start cutting. This okay, gets it's like gentle. I can hear it. I just want to point out that I'd probably be done by now with regular clippers. But you'd be bleeding profusely. It kind of does a jaggedy job. Oh, yeah. Oh! oh! I thought it's gonna be a powder. I don't get this thing. This yeah. takes way too long. Like this is dumb. I don't hate it. I kind of hate it. This next product just makes me sad. Oh, it's, it's that stupid. Hashtag umbrella. I have one of those. I have an umbrella. Whoa! It closed on its own. That made me happy. This is an automatic umbrella, but instead of being spring-loaded like most automatic umbrellas are, this one is electronic. Yo! Pretty cool. I don't know, it's kind of fun. Yeah. I wasn't scared at all. <laughs> That's so stupid. They have automatic spring umbrellas that do this already. It's got uh, a bit of an Inspector Gadget vibe, right? Robot Mary Poppins. Yeah, this is awesome till you forget to recharge your umbrella and it's raining and you can't open it. How much is this thing? $68. Oh, Ooh. that is rough. Man, it is only slightly more convenient than a regular umbrella. <laughs> don't you guys hate it that when you're taking your temperature, you don't see the number on your phone? Those you're words like, didn't make any sense. No, when you're taking your temperature, aren't you frustrated that you can't see your temperature on your phone? No. Well, these guys were like, yes, you are. <laughs> We've got the world's smartest thermometer here. Okay, so it comes with this little guy. There's no display on it. Well, yeah, I need my phone to see the numbers. Mm -hmm. So stupid. How many apps did you have to download for this one for, episode? For this one episode, I had to download like three oh, apps. Man. They've got your data. Well, it works. Boo. I don't need to see it working in order to pass judgment. This is a terrible idea. When I'm sick or my kids are sick, I don't want more complication involved. I just need the number on the thing. If a kid has a temperature, you just go like this and you can just tell and you give them some Tylenol or you throw them in a you know bathtub full of ice. This is, this is dumb. This is terrible. Get it, get, get it out of here. Get it out of here! Jamie, it's the redemption round time. We are about to expand on one of the greatest Vet19 exclusive products ever made. Of all time. The Nada Cat Cat, a Vet19 original. Love this product. But what is it missing? Nothing. We need to take it into the next generation. It's 2024. Time to make the smart Nada Cat Cat. Look at this oh. little guy. Do you want to hold him? Something looks off here, man. What? No, do you want to hold him? 
Wait, wait, wait. Here you go. <laughs> it's all the best parts of the cat. It's the fur. It's the tail. We can never figure out how to make the tail wag on the not a cat cat. Well, we've done it. And it responds to touch. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, he like that. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't go digging in there. Oh, God, what are you doing, <laughs> oh Jamie? My God. Oh! oh! Burn it! Burn it! Going. No! I mean, he's into it, obviously, <laughs> Eric. I, I guess that's a sale. It's kind of cool. How much is it? So it's only hundred and six dollars. A hundred and six dollars? Look how much more expensive yeah. a cat is. Oh! No! I like the not a cat cat better. Get it to do that and maybe we'll talk. All right. All right. We'll okay. be back. All right. We will be back. Um, Let's check out some of the fan art you guys have sent us in. We love it. It looks so amazing. Draw us something and email it to rejects at vat19.com and we'll show it in a future episode. Thanks for watching. That's our show. Bye. Vat19.com.